Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. This is the edition we like to call Tom's Toolbox. And that makes me Tom Clark, your host. And in today's how-to, we're going to install a reliability kit on Rexnord quad drive gear reducers. And the first thing you do with any job is you want to make sure you have the right PPE. For me, I've got my glasses on. Make sure that you are wearing the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. Now, the first step, you want to remove all the components from the shipping package, making sure to caution against damaging the oil sight glass, which is right here. You can see the glass. You don't want anything broken. Now, this thing weighs about 280 pounds, so you want to make sure that, well, <laughs> actually, I uh, had no problem putting that on the counter myself. I, I had to... Uh, couple of guys help. Okay, I was getting coffee. They put it on the counter. Fine. <clears throat> Next, we want to remove the two 1.25 inch NPT pipe plugs from the lower side hole and from the top. We've got one on the uh, side right here, and then we've got one on the top, on the back side. Here's the Allen wrench that we use, and just kind of put it in there, and we took them out. You want to remove the fittings from the sight glass and elbow sub-assemblies as well. You want to remove the tapered split ring and then slide the nut onto the tubing first. You can see our nuts there, and here's the split rings, and you can actually see the split in the ring that we have slid onto the tubing. All right, do not further disassemble the sight glass sub-assembly as it's been sealed and pressure tested to be leak-free. We don't want to touch that at all. We slide the tapered split ring onto the tubing with the narrower diameter first, making sure the large end of the tapered ring is facing the matting fitting. You can see the larger end is up there towards the top. All right, we're going to install the sight glass, and first we have to prepare the threads of the sight glass subassembly with some pipe joint compound. And remember when you're doing this, don't touch this area right here. Keep your hands away from there. We got a little bit of pipe joint compound on there, just a little bit. That's all we need on the threads. And then you want to thread it slowly, as I'm going to be doing here on the right side of the gearbox. And do not touch the sight glass assembly. We're going to keep our hands on the outside here, okay? And you'll notice at no times do my fingers leave my hands. No, just kidding. You don't want to touch the sight glass right there. Keep your hands on the gray. Stay away from the brass. And then you want to not hit the sight glass and then turn it two to three times after snugging so that it's oil tight. All right, so we're going to get down here. And we are good to go. Now remember, be careful not to impact the sight glass or the anti-foam block or fittings with any tools. Keep the tools away from it. Align it top to bottom with the gearbox that we've done here. Okay, now we want to prepare the threads of the elbow subassembly with pipe joint compound the same way. As you can see, I've got a little bit around right there. And we're going to thread the elbow subassembly into the top of the gearbox. Same way, no hurry, take our time. We want to make sure it's threaded properly. And similarly, you want to do it two or three times. Turn it two or three times snug so that it too is oil tight. Hand tighten the lens fitting, align it facing the output side of the unit. Next, we're going to need to install the hydraulic tubing. And first, you want to oil the O-rings in the fittings. The O-rings, they're located inside here. Just, just a little bit of oil. You don't need much. Next, we're going to insert the short arm of the tubing into the sight glass assembly. Uh, quick show of hands. Short side. Kind of easy. There we go. All right. Now, you want to make sure that you push it past the O-ring, and then you simply finger tighten the nut. All right. Square up the tubing and fittings to minimize stress points or bending. Finger tighten, all good to go. All right, now we're going to do this side as well. Make sure we get it lined up there. And you can see. Finger tighten, we're good to go. Finally, you want to install the Air Max Plus breather insulation. Here's our Air Max right here. You want to remove all of the red plugs from the breather. Now, I haven't removed these two, but I did do this one right here. There was a big plug on there. I pulled it out so you can see how we're going to do this. I'm going to put it right in there. Just turn that. And you want to hand tighten the breather onto the pipe T of the sight sub glass assembly. Good to go. Now, you want to be sure you fill the gearbox with approved lubricant, and we have done that. We've removed a plug on the back side of our unit right here. Now, once the oil level reaches the bottom of the fill hole, wait a minimum of five minutes for the oil to reach the oil level sight glass. Add additional oil to the gearbox and repeat the process until the oil level in the gearbox and sight glass are constant and the excess runs out. Uh, the oil level sight glass is intended to be used when the gearbox is not running 
but it's in the static condition. Now, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your local Motion Industries branch location, and they'll be able to help you out. Hopefully, this will help you with your practical applications. And uh, don't forget, PPE, always, I wore mine through the entire assembly. Make sure you wear whatever PPE you need to wear for the job. Hey, thanks for visiting uh, me, Tom Clark, your host for today's edition of Tom's Toolbox, another Motion Industries how-to video, and look for others with me as your host as well. Thanks for watching.